Okay, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert um, complex numbers from rectangular form to exponential form. And so these are the complex numbers that we're going to work with. Um, in the previous video, we've shown that uh, given a number in rectangular form x plus i y, then this number can be written uh, as r c i s theta, where r and theta is shown in this uh, diagram and uh, from there it can be written in the form r e i theta uh, this is the exponential form that is the rectangular form so from here you're gonna, you can see that uh, similarly to what happened with polar form to go from rectangular to exponential form again we need to find r and theta which was the same case there so given x plus i y we just need to find r and theta then we can put it in that uh, exponential form so in the first question got minus root 2 minus i root 2 so again the first thing we're going to do is write this in coordinate form so the x is negative root 2 the y is also negative root 2. So that tells us that uh, we have got a complex number in the third quadrant um, whereby the x is negative root 2, the y is also negative root 2. Now we've already mentioned that uh, if you've got a right angle triangle that is isosceles, then straight away that tells us that angle is going to be 45 degrees. So if that angle is 45, it means uh, the argument of uh, looking for this whole angle here is going to be 45 plus 180. So straight away. We can write this as uh, um, our argument is 45 plus 180, which is 225. We're going to want to work in um, in terms of radians here. So 225 in radians is uh, uh, how many 45 do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So it's going to be 5 pi over 4. Because 45 degrees is pi over 4. So it's going to be theta. Then r is going to be the square root of uh, negative uh, root 2 squared plus negative root 2 squared. Uh, this is going to be 2 plus 2. So it's going to be square root 4. So it's going to be 2. So r is 2 theta is 5 pi on 4 then we're simply going to plug into this formula here so negative root 2 minus i that's negative square root 2 minus i square root 2 is 2 e uh, to the 5 i pi on 4. So that's going to be our complex number in exponential form. The second one, um, so in B we have got uh, 1 minus i root 3. This one, the x coordinate is 1, the y coordinate is negative root 3. So this time we have got a complex number in the fourth quadrant. Got a complex number in the fourth quadrant. Uh, this is one, this is negative root three. So R is going to be the square root of one squared plus negative square root three squared. So it's going to be 1 plus 3, 
this is going to be square root 4. So again, our r is 2. Then theta, we can measure it this way. So in that way, it's going to be negative. So theta is going to be the inverse tangent of negative root 3 over 1. So it's the inverse tangent of negative root 3. Punch this in the calculator. Going to give us negative 60. So in radians, that's negative pi on 3. So that means 1 minus i square root 3 is the same as 2e to the minus pi i over 3. So that's going to be our number in exponential form. And then for part c, we've got z equals to 4i. Um, 4i in coordinate form, the x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 4. So this is going to be located um, on the vertical axis above the origin so somewhere here so and this distance is going to be four so if that distance is four so that means r is simply four so for complex numbers on the along the coordinate axis really there is no need to um, calculate the r and theta we just get them by inspection the um, argument is simply this angle which is 90 so theta is 90 degrees or pi on 2 and not 4 so what this is telling us is that 4i and can write as 4e to the i pi on 2 or pi i on 2 okay um, then in the next example which is d we have got z is equal to negative 3 in coordinate form this is negative 3 0 again we've got a complex number along uh, one of the axes um, so our complex number this time is located somewhere there this distance is three so distance from the origin undirected distance is just r so and the angle or the <clears throat> argument this one is 180 so that's 180 degrees which is pi so that means negative 3 we can write as 3e to the i pi okay um at this point we're going to give you uh the opportunity to have a go at the uh remaining four problems you can just pause the video, <clears throat> work through them, and then when you continue the video, you can compare your answers with ours. Okay, um, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for EFG and uh, H. Um, would like to thank you for visiting our channel and watching this video. We do hope that uh, it is uh, useful. Uh, we do implore you to subscribe to our channel uh, to support uh, our uh, course so that we can make more material like uh, more materials like this one. Uh, if you've got any questions, do please uh, post them in the comment section, and uh, please do um, share the video and. Uh, like accordingly all right so in uh, part e we've got 2 plus 2i two root 3 
that is going to be the uh, complex number in coordinate form x is 2 and uh, y is 2 root 3 so the number is going to be in the first quadrant like this the radial distance here is going to be 4 and uh, the angle which is the um, argument uh, is going to be pi on 3 in uh, radians so that means the number is going to be 4 e to the i pi root 3 in exponential form for f the x coordinate is negative uh, uh, root 3 y coordinate is 1 so we are in the second quadrant then when we do the inverse tangent y over x that always gives us the angle inside that triangle there which I've called phi so phi is a negative 30 so theta which is going to be that angle there is going to be 180 take away 30 so it's going to be 5 pound 6 radial distance is 2 so that's going to be our complex number in exponential form um, this time the x coordinate is 0 the y coordinate is negative e so remember negative e is just a uh, real number then the distance from the origin so that means this number is on the vertical x is the distance from the origin to this is e so that's going to be our r so r is going to be e and then the angle we can either measure it this way in which case it's going to be negative 90 or negative pound 2 or we can measure it the other way around which is going to be 270 um, either of those is going to work out okay so that means uh, in exponential form our number is going to be r e to the i theta r is e um, so this time we can combine those two because they're like terms or if you use uh, the uh, clockwise approach uh, this should be negative so that is going to be minus um, pi i over 2 and for the last problem we've got uh, z is pi so it's just a real number so in coordinate form is going to look like this this distance is pi so r is going to be pi the angle this time is zero so it's just going to be pi e to the i zero of course it's just pi e to the zero which is just pi so uh, that shows you that if we write purely uh, real and positive numbers in exponential form they just come back exactly uh, the way you plug them in all right thank you